it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. I'm a UK-based independent stamping up demonstrator. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Uh, if this is your first time joining me, welcome. Uh, for those of you who watch me on a more regular basis, uh, you will know that this is likely to be a slightly mad YouTube video, because that's just the way I go. Um, so, I took delivery of the Looking Up card kit yesterday afternoon. It is still sealed. Uh, I have been waxing lyrical about our card kits over the last few days because I think they are an amazingly good way of introducing people to crafting and also keeping the children occupied for a while doing something creative and not sitting on their Xbox or watching Netflix or all that sort of stuff. So I thought I would do an unboxing and you can see it's still sealed. Um, so let's get started. This is exciting because I honestly haven't seen this before. Um, so this is going to be amazing. Okay, remove the wrapper. Now one of the things I love about our kits is they do come in a box, which means everything is where you expect it to be. You can tidy everything away into the box. Because, yeah, tidying in not my forte. If you could see my desk at the moment, I did post a picture of it on Instagram recently. Um, it's a bomb site. Anyway, let's lift the lid. And here it is. Oh, more cellophane. Okay, so uh, this is an all-inclusive card kit. We do project kits, which you need to add some stuff to. We do, pro do product med medleys, where you need to add a bit more stuff. And we do all-inclusive kits. The all-inclusive kits are exactly what they say they are. They are all-inclusive. So I have got a stamp set, uh, which has got various sentiments and some birds and a little starburst. So we've got, I'm so very thankful for you. Great for the moment. Um, if you have had someone who's picked up some shopping for you, collected your prescription, that sort of thing, that would be a great sentiment to, to use. Happy birthday. Birthdays are continuing. Uh, thanks so much. Again, great uh, sentiment at the moment. Feel better soon if anyone is not feeling well, whether it's from the dreaded COVID-19 or just we're still going to get ill. Um, other other things are still going to be passing around and not you know people are not going to feel well. So great one. And I hear congratulations are in order. So again, that one, you know, life is going to go on. So that's a great little stamp set. It's photopolymer, which means you can see through it so you can see where you're stamping. Brilliant. Easy to clean because you can actually just use um, soap and water, you know, like um, washing up liquid or I think you in the States you call it dish soap. Um, some soap and water will do the cleaning up if that's all you've got. Otherwise, I would recommend a stamping chamois. They do end up looking filthy and this one is cut in half um stamping chamois really easy because all you do is um make it wet um by wet i mean damp so run it under a tap squeeze it out and then it will clean off the ink um and every now and again just do repeat that because it will build up ink within it uh which you can wash away some ink will stain hence this has got uh memento on it so yeah um i did at one point try to keep some of it clean and only use classic ink on but life is not that easy um stamp set a mini stamping spot in bermuda bay which is a great generic color as in it's not specifically male or female um i will probably not open that i'll just use my normal size bermuda bay um, and then i'll keep that for um, either to gift to someone or to take away when we can travel again um, if i'm going away and want to take some craft bits with me so this is the big this is the big pack so again all nicely cellophane together so it arrives beautifully safely so flat and without any damage um, so let's pop it all back in there, get rid of the cellophane. Must empty my bins. You get a block. Now, it's not exactly the same as our usual ergonomic blocks. 
it's about the same size as a D block, which is a really good block to start with. Um, it's not got the lovely rounded corners, but it's a block. So it's again a great thing to start with. Uh, so just for those of you who do not know how these things work, um, you just peel off your stamp, pop it on your block, and as if by magic, it sticks and you can see through. So it's it sticks so well you do sometimes have to just give it a bit of welly to get it off. Now if it stops being sticky, uh, just just wash it. Um, and try and keep your blocks clean, but wash wash the stamps so that they remain sticky. Um, dimensionals, so your adhesive is dealt with. We've got envelopes, so let's see, aeroplanes, so three of those, um, three trees, I'm guessing three raindrops, three palm trees and three umbrellas because we have that many designs. So that's those. Then we've got the card bases which are printed so the inside is white. They're pre-scored, really quick to put together because they are printed. So three with aeroplanes, so great for the, the men and boys in our lives. Uh, palm trees which are good for anyone frankly. Uh, a really nice kind of geometric cityscape hot air balloons and raindrops with a label already printed on. So those are our um, card bases. We've got die cuts. So we've got how many sheets of die cuts? One, two, three sheets of die cuts uh, that are all the same. They're laser cut die cuts. So we've got the, um, the bi biplane. Now my grandfather used to uh, fly. He flew in the First World War, uh, so he was he would have flown in one of these um, or something like that. But yeah, so lots of nice die cuts to use. Copper foil, and these I think are stickers. So let me one two again three sheets. Let me find something that's not too delicate. Yeah, stickers. We like stickers. Don't throw away the copper backing, though, because you can make things out of that as well. So, yeah, three sheets of those. I'm guessing we're going to have three sheets of labels, but let's not let's not uh, preempt that. I've just found the instructions. So, no, it's two. One sheet of labels. Yeah, that makes sense because we've got three of each of the labels. So that makes perfect sense. So. We've got five, three each of five card designs, mini glue dots. So all your adhesive is dealt with because we've got sticky, uh, we've got stickers, we've got dimensionals, we've got glue dots, and then these are the instructions. So they are in each of our, well, they're in four languages. I'm a, sorry, they're not in Dutch, um, but they are in the other four languages. So English. German, French and Japanese and it tells you what's included so you can just check that everything's there um, and tips so we recommend you place the sticker on the card before you adhere the label uh, you can use stamping dimensionals or adhesive dots to adhere the labels to the cards uh, stamping dimensionals will raise the label adhesive dots will make it lie flat so if you've got issues with thickness for postage you can use the adhesive dots and if you are able to get um, dimensionals through the post without it increasing the cost, then you can use dimensionals. And hang on one moment, because I have a handy dandy Royal Mail sizing guide. So if I slip those dimensionals through, in fact, let's get both layers, and because then that will take up the, this is as if it's a card, folded in half and an envelope and the bits of card just sticking down so let's see will it go through it will and it will pass through easily uh, which is and what it says all items passed pass through the appropriate slot pass freely through the appropriate slot um, they are for domestic UK mail only so if you are in the UK the letter size slot to lots of dimensionals, which means you can use a dimensional and all your 
um, card and it will still pass through as a letter not a large letter keeps the postage down um, you can layer the printed images over the identical images for a 3d effect and adhere them with stamping dimensionals now of course what you could do is use the stickers or the uh, die cuts for something else um, and i will have a look at um, how to how to do that so um, i'll see if i can come up with some alternatives for you um, and it gives you the steps so one two three four and then uh, visual instructions so one two three so you just follow those instructions again one two three uh, I'm trying to find one that's got a four there actually is no four what is four? Oh, optional adhere using stamping dimensionals but it says adhere using stamping dimensionals or adhesive dots so actually there is no number four uh, so one two three three steps easy so I will stop the video now and I will make up one of each of the cards so you can see them um, and then we will be able to I'll be able to put the two bits together and um, see how we get on see what they look like finished per the instructions and then I will do another video which I'll release probably in about a week on some alternatives that I can come up that I come up with obviously for those you will need to introduce more items because you'll need some basic cardstock and those sorts of things but I'll see what I can come up with as some alternatives so don't go away I shall return okay so slight change of plan I thought it would actually be better to do a long video uh, and I will show you how I put together each of the cards I have already made some decisions about some of the items um, but I will go through those as we get to them. What I also wanted to just mention is that in the instructions we do have details of the coordinating colours. So if you have some of our ink pads already, you don't have to stick to using Bermuda Bay for all of your sentiments. You can also use, um, so we've got the coordinating colours of black, basic black, Bermuda Bay. Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Lovely Lipstick, which will be going at the beginning of June because it's one of our retiring in colours, Petal Pink and Pool Party. So if you want to change out the colours, those are the ones that you can use. So let's get started. As I say, I'm going to use my full-size ink pad and I have made some decisions about some of the cards um, and whether I'm going to use all of the items or not. So I will talk you through those as we go. So I'm going to start with, actually I'm not going to start with that one because I've got them in an order. I'm going to start with this one, um, which is the one with the raindrops. So I have already got my pieces together. So this is the envelope. It's got the raindrops. It's got a nice place to write the address uh, printed on the inside as well. It's printed on all surfaces. So all of the inside is printed other than this margin around the edge. Uh, sometimes it's only printed on the flap and the effectively the front, um, but in this case we've got printing on the inside of the triangles as all three of the other triangles as well. And it coordinates beautifully with this. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, so those are my raindrops, the first thing I'm going to do, and I do this with all of my die cuts, because I'm just picky like that is just make sure that if there are any of these little pips that are sticking out I just trim those off with my paper snips I may not go as far as doing the raindrops because you know there are limits um, I've got my stamp so I need the feel better soon stamp so let's peel that off now I like to prep my stamps uh, I'm going to use my D block because that's the one that's included but I'm going to use my ergonomic D block because it's just easier for me to use so to prepare your stamps when photopolymer stamps are made there's a, re um, a fluid that is used it's a spray that's used so that they release from the mold and I just like to use a white a good quality white um, just ordinary pencil we'd call it a rubber in the UK but eraser um, and that will take that off if you don't have one of those just rub it on the back of your hand I have to say my hands at the moment because of all the extra washing um, I always thought I was doing quite well on washing frequently 
apparently I could do more. My hands are really suffering. I'm having to use hand cream as if it's going out of fashion. So stamp prepared, then just tap gently on your ink pad. If you're using the Stampin' Spot, um, you will find it's a slightly different surface. So I would then pick it up and do it that way rather than um, rather than putting it onto the putting the stamp onto the ink block. So this is a circle, so it's really easy to line up because it doesn't matter. So hold your stamp to your surface for a reasonable amount of time. Now that's a good sign. That means that we've got the ink to transfer across. And it will, as, as you've just seen, eventually just drop off. Um, if you want to pick, um, release it quicker, just put your finger underneath and lift. And then I will just grab my chamois and clean my stamp. And as you can see, it is all see-through again. Now, if you use an ink that has any red in the dye, so Lovely Lipstick would be a good example, also some of the browns, so early espresso, those sorts of things, um, you will find that the ink will stain the, uh, the stamp. That's fine, it's a stain. It's what I call clean dirt, not dirty dirt. So it's just a stain. It's nothing to worry about. Okay, so we've got that done. Now we need one of these lovely gold labels. Uh, and we need one that's a circle. So this is one of our circular label so you need to be very careful peeling this off because some of the bits are very very delicate so gently peel it up just like that and then you want it at a bit of a an angle um, and there is no right or wrong angle just try and get it so that it's reasonably centered over Ooh, actually I say there is no in the picture it's done that way it doesn't matter you can do it the other way up if you want, but it really doesn't matter. And in the picture, I'm trying to make this as near to the picture as possible so that it's a good representation of what the card will look like. So let's say that's that. Gently push it down. Don't rub it. If you're going to rub it, turn it over and rub it from the back. I say that because if these aren't stuck down and you rub, you may tear them. So that's that done. And then um, our label, I'm going to use my own stamping dimensionals uh, purely because they're open and it seems a waste to open a new pack. But they're exactly the same. Um, so I'm just putting three on the back. You don't need many. Uh, you know, it's, it's not going to have someone hanging off it. It is just to keep it in place. And then just pop it over the top, trying to get the lines as square as possible and then now if you decide that's in the wrong place before you push it down you do have a little bit of time just to peel it off but only a little bit of time and if you find you're struggling don't pull but if you if you do find that you're struggling and only one dimensional is stuck I've got two stuck twist rather than pull um, but yeah if you just lay it down it will it will allow you a little bit of time. Now for the raindrops this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to use my take your pick tool I think. Let's pop the cover on there. So I'm going to just see whether a mini dimensional will fit and it's slightly too big. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab my other scissors which I use for sticky things and I'm just going to cut straight up some of those dimensionals so that I've got half dimensionals I know sad isn't it um, and then peel off the backing or the fronting I suppose technically of one of those pick up your raindrop and pop it over the top and then peel that off now, if you're using the, the dimensionals that are in the kit, you can still do the same thing. Um, you'll just, oops, you'll just need to cut, um, cut them into little tiny strips. 
I don't really want that sticking in the wrong place. So if I pick it up from there, will it pick up from there? Yes. So then just pop it onto one of the other raindrops. So let's just... Now I am using the raindrops. When we come to some of the others, you'll see that I kind of don't. Um, purely because um, I want to be able to stretch my kit to use on other projects. But uh, the raindrops on their own kind of don't do much. I suppose I could use them with under my umbrella. Um, but other than that, not really a huge, a huge choice of products to uh, use them with. So I'm just literally just adding these to the back. And I do want to keep half an eye on my video because I just remembered that, of course, my video, my camera gets bored after half an hour and we're already at about 10 minutes and there are five cards. So uh, let's just add that one there. So there we are. That is our first card done. Simple as that. So then I can pop it in the envelope and it's ready to be um, written in and sent out. So the others are going to be a little quicker because these are the ones that I've decided probably not to use all of the layers on. Let's get rid of those bits. Okay, so this one is the balloons. So all I need for that are the bits that I've saved in here. So I've got my label, uh, which is the only die cut that I'm using, other than the copper strip. And because I am mean about these things, um, I'm going to pick up my copper strip. And actually, I'm just going to gauge. This is where this is the label that we're going to use. So it's going to come here. So I only want my copper strip to come to about there. So I'm going to just mark on my card where there is, pick up my label, pop it down on the card, and it needs to be just above the black line. And actually, let me, oh, what I should have done is laying it down from the other end because then I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have it, I'd have a circle. So what you should, what you should do, learn from my mistakes, is pop it down that way and then cut it. But I've now got this piece that I can use on another card and I'll stick it down there, ready to go. So I just need to get my happy birthday stamp. So happy birthday, so I'm gonna peel the backing off that completely. Get my happy birthday stamp, pick that up, rub it on the back of my hand to take the um, the finish off, ink up my stamp, and then pop that on my label, hold it down, flick it off, and that is that. And all I need to do now is add some dimensionals to the back. And again, I'm going to use three. I'm going to put two along the edge because that may catch and then just one there peel off the backings and pop this just there and the reason I decided against using the die cut balloons is because this one goes under the label and this one has to be at the front so it didn't seem logical for me to put the balloons on. So I've got those balloons to use for something else. So that's that, and we can pop it in its envelope. So that's that one. Um, clean this. Of course, I've now buried my chamois. So clean that off, and again, already clean. Pop that back on our stamp sheet, ready for the next one. And the next one happens to be this one. So again, I've got the bits that I need out. Did I? Yes, I did get one of the trees out. So all I need for this is, again, one of our stickies, sticky go, uh, coppers. So I'm going to peel that off. 
sticky coppers or copper stickies, one or the other. Um, and okay, so this needs to go about mm, about there, I think. So let's pop that down and again press and then rub from the back. And I'm going to pop a dimensional on the back of my tree. And again, I hesitated before I used this uh, because I was thinking, where on earth am I going to put it? And I can just pop it, I suppose I could pop it so that it's just over the black there. And then grab my label. Now, this label, if you've got the tailored tag punch, it's exactly the same size. And I want thanks so much. And I am going to save the back of my hand because my hands really are beginning to suffer. Grab my ink pad. We're at 14 minutes on this bit of the video. And just, oh, that's not very well inked. There we go. Close my ink pad. Clean my stamp. And definitely racing against the clock now. Thanks so much. And again, let's take, probably only need two dimensionals. And you've got masses in the kit. So, you know, if you want to put more on, please do. But it really isn't necessary. Uh, and then let's just hold that so it is in the middle of the copper. And that's another card done. So pop that away. The next one is the palm trees. And again, I have chosen not to pull the palm trees out. I've got the label, um, but I've chosen not to pull the palm trees out because, again, I've got I've got a copper strip over all the palm trees, so I'm saving those palm trees for an alternative project. Right, I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper, purely because, that'll do, I want to show you what happens if you do not prep your, um, your stamps. This is the bottom of a, a sh an order sheet. So it probably won't work, knowing my luck. Uh, right, I'm so very thankful for you. Is this one. Pop it on the block. Do nothing with it. Ink it up. And stamp it down. And can you see that it's kind of mottled? And that's because there is that residual film and the film is a kind of oily film which obviously oil and water this is a water-based ink oil and water don't mix so it's not a good combination having inked it up and given it a good clean that is now ready to go so I should get a much much better result yeah I can see already it's going to be a better result purely because I've used it once already, used it and cleaned it. And again, hold that down. Now let me grab the one we did before. Can you see the difference there? Nice and clean and mottled. So there we go. Okay, right. So all we need to do now is clean the stamp again. And take that off, pop it away. Uh, I need my copper strip and this time it's the square, possibly diamond, and I'm going to learn from my mistake. Ooh, nearly, I'm going to nearly learn from my, my mistake. So this is going to come here. So again if I grab my pencil, let's pop that on my finger, and just mark there and it's going to be about there. I can pop 
pop this down with the end where it's meant to be this time. It's sad, isn't it? Snip that and again come in from this side. Now I am just going to get a ruler because I am one of those sad people who likes things straight. You can use your grid paper as well. So I'm going to line up with my grid paper and with my ruler. So I need to come in from there and I only need three of those squares. So I've then got this spare bit. Now let me just show you. That would go right the way across. Um, it is long enough to go right the way across if you don't want to do the whole saving of the little bits. And then that I'm just going to pop on there Ooh. to use for later. And then this, grab, where are my 19 minutes? Grab dimensionals and Pop this down. So again, let's look at the picture. We're going slightly up from the edge and we're going to keep this in line. So the points of our label are in line with the points of our stickers and I'm kind of trying to make it as even as possible so that I've got the same bit showing on each end. Fluke that it's worked that way. So there we are. That's that one ready to go. And we've got two palm trees to use as well. Now this one, I let's just check I've got everything out. I have actually taken the die cut um, and I am going to use it because it doesn't go over the, um, the label doesn't go over the plane. So let me take one of these strips and again, See, I should have learnt from what I did before, shouldn't I? Let me just, so that's where the label's going to be. So if I come to here, I will be within the label. So I can pop this and I'm going to lie it straight across, lining up with the black image. And then just snip there. And again, I can take this and probably need to pop it down onto where it came. There we go. So let's stamp this and then we'll put the whole thing together. So I want, I hear congratulations are in order. So that's that one. Pick up my stamp, use my eraser. up stamp down I'll clean that later because this is our last card and now I am going to use a few dimensionals so I need I'm going to use three again on this so again I'm going to have a couple at the edge and then one in the middle and then I'm not going to go mad with this die cut again nothing's going to be hanging off it it just needs to be adhered um, I am going to use some of my mini glue dots uh, glue dots uh, my mini dimensionals because they're a better size for the wheels but half of one of the standard size dimensionals would be perfect there as well so let's just take those off and get rid of them. Oh, I've already got it off. That's why I can't get it off. Ha! And pop that on there. And then take this and pop this down. Lining up with this edge here. Let's straighten that. That's better. 
and there we go so that is our last card so where are we 23 minutes and that include me showing you how to prep your stamp um, I, I accept I had got everything ready to go but if you want to do what I always call conveyor belt crafting prep everything and then literally just put everything together because that is absolutely the quickest way of doing it um, and getting everything so that it's inside the envelope means that you know that everything is there re ready to go can't of course find the sheet that goes on top of that now but never mind I will um, so yes so that would be that's I love I love 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 this card kit it is amazing um, it's in the beginner brochure it's also in the main annual catalogue um, let me find kits in the main annual catalogue here we go um, so kits start on page 200 so this is one of our project kits for which you need to buy extra bits uh, these are our all-inclusive kits so here we are 15 all-include cards um, it's this one here looking up card kit 25 pounds and you can make 15 cards, three of each of five designs, and you are good to go. And of course, you still have the stamp set and the ink, uh, the ink spot and the block. So you can make more cards as well. I will come back with some alternatives. Thank you very much for joining me today for a very long video. Um, I hope you've managed to get to the end. If you have, please give me a thumbs up if you found that useful. I will come back, as I say, in about a week to do some alternatives. Um, if you would like any answers to any questions, you can leave comments below. Uh, if you like, would like to buy the kit, I will list that below and over on my website. And I will have some close-up photos of each of the cards so that you can have a look at the finished items. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. And I look forward to seeing, seeing you again very soon. Do keep well, do keep safe. And I will see you soon. Bye!